Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Ultima 7, Part 2, The Serpent Isle. It's been a little bit of time since I've had a chance to record. If you're watching this just purely, you know, not when they came out, but in the future, um, then you won't notice there was a gap, but we've had a considerable gap. Um, unfortunately, I had a family member who became injured, and I had to step away from recording for a little bit. Just get myself a little Diet Coke here. It's been so while my lips are a little parched. Um, had to step away from recording for a little bit to deal with that. But I've had some time now. I can get back to recording. I'm not sure what our publishing schedule will be. But if you've been around and are continuing to watch, I want to say thank you very much. And thank you for for staying with us while I had to take another break there to deal with that issue. So without further ado, we're going to jump back into the beauty that is Ultima 7 Part 2. Now, I had to quick review the last video. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I had to quick review the last video, and I think if I remember correctly, we were here in Moonshade, and we need to continue on to find Bukia to talk to her I, after we had that big uh, dinner that we had. So that's our next step. So let's continue on our adventures here in Ultima 7. Let's walk in here. If I remember, Bukia is this lady, right? This is her right here, correct? I'm so glad to see thee again, my lord. Um, information. I am not certain that I'll know anything useful, but in what art thou interested? Let's ask about people. It would be wrong for me to speak about people behind their backs, so please do not tell anyone. Dost thou desire to know about townsfolk or visitors? Townsfolk? Dost thou have an interest in mere mundanes or mages? We need to talk about a mage. Everything in the city revolves around wizards and their cliques. Whom dost thou desire to know about? I think we want to know about Pothos. This is what I think. I did a quick check to see like what our next step is because it's been so long since I've had a chance to record. I just need to get us back on track. So I think we need to talk to her about Pothos. Pothos is back, and his shop is open once again. Thou hast heard the rumor about the apothecary. Some say he had the most uncanny resemblance to the Mad Mage. I think so, too. Aha. So, the Mad Mage. Surely thou hast heard of Erstrom, the Mad Mage. T'was he who helped found this city. Once he was a great wizard, able to control the very elements themselves. But then, as his power grew, his sanity shrank. It shrank and shrank until it was too small to perceive, and he went dashing into the hills, shrieking threats and insults. Past the mountains of freedom wilt thou find his isle. Hmm. Well. Let's go talk to Pothos, then. If he looks like Erstrom, maybe they're related. Maybe Pothos and Erstrom are somehow related. So, Pothos is the apothecary. And if I remember correctly, he lives in this little weird hut here. Whoa, I can't, can't walk upstairs. That hasn't changed. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this is Pothos, right? Hey, Pothos. Excuse me, sir. Can I get you to talk? There we go. What can I do for thee? Um. Ooh. Secret. Thou knowest. It is true. I am Erstrom's son. Oh, not his brother, but his son. Which is why I still continue to trade with him, even though it is forbidden. If the council knew, I'd surely be exiled. Since thou knowest, I will offer thee a deal. If thou wilt go to the swamp south of here and bring back some blood moss for me, I will tell thee how to contact my father. Sure. Thou art my savior. I shall await thy return eagerly. All right. Well, goodbye. All right. So we have to go get some blood moss from the swamps. Let me pull up the old, uh, uh, old map here. So let's see. 
Now we're talking about the map. Um, what we've got? Oh, I've got this all messed up on the display here. Hold on, let's get things lined back up properly. We don't need all this weird background showing up. There we go. So, when we're looking here, here we are. So the swamp is this area here. And it looks like you can enter from the bottom here and we can work our way up. So the blood moss will probably be up in all of this. That's my guess. So let's go ahead and get rolling over there, shall we? Oh, I keep hitting that button. There we go. Have a little bit of trouble off screen. Nothing you need to worry about. Let's continue on. All right, so south of town, we've walked around this town so much, like the past, I don't know how many episodes it's been that we've been here. Um, I almost have it mer memorized, which you're probably not supposed to have. Probably should have been here as long as we have. All right, so we go down this way, and there should be those stairs, if you recall, that take us over the outer wall. Maybe not a real good protective wall if you can just kind of walk over it. Like if they build stairs to let you... Uh, oh, who's hungry? That's fine. Ooh. We got some uh, ruins there. Uh, let's see. Let's feed everybody. There we go. All right. So we'll cross the wall here. Listen to those crickets go wild with chirping. So here's this little mountain, so we kind of got to go this way a bit. There we go, and down here. Something chasing us? No. A bit of my imagination, that's all it was. That's all it was. All right, here is the edge. I'm not sure. Okay, I know where we are. The swamp is just to the side here. We got to go around this little inlet. Of course, there's a storm happening. Oh, snakes! Get them! Get them, boys! Not too bad. So here's the swamp over here on our... on the left. And there's that little hut. And here's the swamp entrance. All right, let's check this out. Let's see. Oh, oh, a giant eel thing. Or we can't. Oh, we're all. Oh, we're all. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Come on, team. Stop fighting it. It's just gonna stand there. That was stupid. Get away from it worthless. We got all this poisoning happening because I'm a dum-dum. If you remember, we have a ton. You know, and of course, we, we, we grabbed them a long time ago. Where are they? Who is carrying our collection of swamp boots? We should have a bunch, right? Oh, the inventory... The bane of my existence. At least we get to have the cool battle music play for a bit. We only have one. Oh. So Dupre needs swamp boots on. So let's grab his regular boots and swamp boot him up. Did we not save a pair for the avatar somewhere? Did we forget to bring? Did I, did I just go buy one? No. 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 We forgot to bring boots for the avatar. Oh no, there they are. They're right there. There's the swamp boots for the avatar. So we'll give those back to Dupre. Too heavy. Ah, oh, you poopy. Uh, you can carry your own boots and swamp boots. And even though we're already poisoned because we're dumb, we should be okay. So how do we kill this thing? There we go. And now we can avoid getting poisoned here in the swamp. How many of these tentacles are there? Can we even reach it? We can. 
Is it dead? Or did it just go away? Looks like maybe it just went away? I don't know. But we'll continue on this little track here. Of course, we have the slow battle walk. Ooh, there's like an oozy slime. It's not there anymore. Ah, okay, there's all the blood boss. Okay, let's grab. We'll just pack this into the uh, avatar's pack. There's a lot of blood moss here. We should remember this next time that we need blood moss. I wonder if this respawns or if it ever goes away. Too heavy. Apparently that's not. It's trying to just grab the tree, apparently. Two blood moss. There we go. All right. Can I just walk out of here since I have the swamp boots? Like... No, no, you can't cross the water. Okay, so we do have to walk back out the way we came in. I heard something. Oh, it's behind us. I didn't even see it on the ground. Whoop! Come on, get through the swamp, Grug. There's that stupid tentacle. We'll just ignore its existence for now, I guess. I don't know what kind of protection you get. Um, like, here's the thing. You don't get, like, an armor... Anything that tells you how much armor you have available. So I don't know if the magic boots or the swamp boots are better. It's very hard to tell. Oh, there's a little downstairs here. What's down here? Oh, ho! Hello! What's going on in here? We got a spear. We got a fishing pole. What do you mean I can't get there? I can too get there. Uh, ooh, some cash. Well, that's not very much, but... Better than nothing. Just looking to see, is there anything... Nope, nothing special there, just the fishing pole. All right, we'll head back. Let's leave the swamp boots on just in case. I hate getting poisoned. Well, let's head back up north here and go back to town. And we'll go talk to Pothos. Oh, we're getting attacked by snakes. Come on, team! There we go. We'll definitely have to do some additional combat trading at some point in the game. Maybe when we get done here, we can go back to Monitor. Maybe we could do some more training. I don't know if there's any trainers anywhere else. And the only place we've really found them are in Monitor itself. All right, back to Pothos. Keep up, Dupre. Pass this kitty cat. Pass this fenced-in place where no one will talk to us because we're not cool mages yet. I mean, we are a mage. We're the Avatar. We know we're a mage. But... They don't believe us. Not without a spell book in our hands. Pass the crazy lady. Let's go ahead and save, just in case. Pothos, we're back. Oh, it's, it's super late at night. Okay. Is he, is he hanging out down here? Oh, he's in bed. Hey, Pothos, wake up. 
Pothos, we ain't got time for this. Pothos, wake up. Thou dost have the blood moss. Wonderful. In exchange for thy service, I will trust thee with the information that will allow thee to speak with Erstrom. Erstrom. Um, tell me about Erstrom. It would not be wise for me to tell thee much. I shall merely acquaint thee with how to reach the docks, how to call thy transport, and the required password. All right, how do we call the transport? How do we reach the docks? Thou must go to the rocks north of the Mountains of Freedom. My father hath trained a sea creature to come on command. It will take thee to Erstrom. Do not fear. Oh, that must be that bell that we saw up there. Okay. But remember to not leave any of thy possessions upon it. For once it leaves, thou shalt not be able to recall it. Okay, how do we call the transport? Call the transport, go to the docks. Thou, there thou shalt find a ship's bell. Once thou hast rung the bell, enchanted the mantra, thy transport will arrive. It can only take thee to my father's island, nowhere else. What's the password? Isn't it interesting that blood moss is so potent? Since it is connected with the fluid of life. Blood. But I'm babbling. Erstam shall not speak a word to thee unless thou dost speak the password which I do give thee. This will be the sign that I have sent thee. The password is Iskatardi. Iskatradi. And what's the mantra? My, thou art impatient. I was just about to tell thee. I, Reten, Bentos, Juxark, I, Paratim, Mir, Wiz, Kai, Rel. Okay. Print screen. To learn its meaning, translate it from the language of magic. Alas, as often the case, tis not required to understand power to use it. Rugtar learned his lessons well in the days of the false prophet. Whom? Never mind. Change subject and goodbye. Alright, so we got a password. I want to see here, did I successfully save the password? Yes, I did. Uh, I'm just in paint right now. I know you can't see it, but what we're going to do is I'm just going to cut out this little section of the password here. And we're going to go ahead and just save that as a photo. Uh, this is a JPEG, and it needs to go in my Ultima 7 files. And this is the Erstam password. There we go. So I can pull that up later when we need it. Well, let's head back up. I mean, we've been there before. Whoop. Whoa. There we go. We've been in that section before. So what we'll do, we're about 20 minutes in. Again, on the, the videos, I don't know. Uh-oh. What, what's happening? Shimino. Where did he go? Wait, what? Wait. What? Oh, no. What just happened? Okay. Well... That's not good. Thank goodness we all just ate food. Um, did he get teleported by the storm? Oh no. That was our entire food supply that just disappeared. I don't even know what to do. Um. Okay, well, let's do this. Man. That was our food. We got a couple create food scrolls. I guess we could use that if we need to in an emergency. So let's power on and hope that we don't run out of food to eat. Um. So we need to go this way. I guess we're not going to sleep at all. To rest. Oh, man. 
I hope that this is one of those things where he just disappears and we get him back after a little bit of time. Man, he has so much magic stuff on him, too. Um, let's go. Hopefully when we solve this, we'll get him back. I don't even know what to do. Like... Do we need to go talk to somebody? Oh, I'm... Okay, hold on. We're gonna save game here. We're gonna call this a new... We're gonna call this... Shimino Gone! Exclamation. Oh, apparently you can't use exclamation. Okay, let's save that. Really don't know what's happening. Uh, there were two guys up here that we fought and killed earlier when we walked around this way. Where did Chimino go? It wasn't a thunderstorm. It's not like he said, Ah, oh, I'm getting hit by lightning. It's like somebody cast a magic spell to take him. I don't know who these guys are, but they were back. Um, these are regular arrows. A candle. Uh, these are gems, I think. Let's take those. We have a backpack on the avatar. There's some money here. Anything else laying around? No. Huh. We fought and killed them before. Did we just... Oh. Flying snake things. Um, last time we fought them, did we actually save that we fought them? Or did we just reload back in? Again. There's something inside this cave, in this mountain, that our guys keep wanting to fight. No idea. So over here was that bell. really worried about the Shimino thing. Huh. Again, I really hope... I really hope... He's coming back soon. Took all our food! Alright, here was the dock. And here was the bell. We say the password. Okay. Thou hast forgotten something. What? Thou hast forgotten something. Thou hast forgotten something. What do you mean, thou hast forgotten something? Hmm. Well, I mean, I assume... Okay, so I'm assuming... I like this little effect here, though. This snake being like, hey, thou hast forgotten something. I assume that we have to go find Shimino then. Okay, so this is not a he disappeared, go on to the place, the next thing, and you'll get him back. So we have to go find Shimino. So who do we talk to about who's about it? Um, Pothos has been the most friendly. Maybe we go back to Pothos and ask him about our missing companion, Shimino. Again, not real happy. That somebody just up and disappeared. Got me. Wait a minute. 
Well, that's the same as what happened to us. Like, we got magicked away by the, the mages, and we got teleported uh, to the um, to the dinner that we went to. So maybe... Mm, let's see. Oh, hello. I see you have respawned. I see you have respawned. Please deal with these things. Grugtar, stop. Chase this guy down over here. Wait, there's another one. They're infinitely spawning back in. I need to get away from here. All right, let's go back to town. All right, so it was not a go to the next area and your guy comes back. So it's a mage in the town that's done this. Let's go talk to the king of mages instead of Pothos. Let's go talk to the guy in the fancy house. Although we get to listen to the battle music just go on forever, apparently. That's always fun. Very dramatic. Oh, for being able just to click. I keep wanting to um, do the old Ultima Online click and right click, left click, and then just keep walking in that direction. All right, so we gotta go back around here. If we're gonna go talk to the guy in charge, he's over this way. Eh, combat music stopped. Uh, let's see, he's up here. Hey, buddy. Where's my friend? Somebody stole my friend. To see again. Hast thou good news? Uh, no. Uh, my guy's kidnap. Thy friend hath been taken, how foul, and by magical means, indeed. Whom dost thou suspect of this terrible crime? I don't think it's Batlin. He's not around. Or to Luncia. I have heard that she believes thee to consort with demons and to be a partner of the one called Batlin. Thou should search for her manor for clues. Open every door, for thy friend might be hidden anywhere. Thou canst find her mansion in the northeast part of town, built into the face of the southern mountains. Be careful, the Red Witch is most powerful, and I cannot protect thee from her enchantments. Report thy findings. Okay, well. We're coming, Shimino. I love how every time we walk through here, the music seems to go back to the... The lovely town music. Okay, she's up here. Let's do a save. Now that we know that it's not a... Um, not a... Uh, something we have to continue on with. Alright, here's her house. Where is... Who doth approach? This is the manor of the Enchantress, Rotaluncia. Thou canst not enter without permission. I'm here to kid. I'm about to kidnap him. I am forbidden to discuss this subject with thee. Where is she? I must not tell thee. In fact, thou shouldst leave here at once. I'm here for Rodoluncia. My mistress commands many powerful and strange magics and sits upon the Council of Mages. 
as thou now knowest, she is most terrible to those who do not bend to her will. Well, goodbye. Thou dost look at me oddly. I think I have said too much. Now I must kill thee. Um, no. I think not, Metal Man. Go to Luncia, she'll avenge my loss. We're not fighting, right? Okay. I wonder how much this weighs. I wonder if we could bring this back to life and be in control of it. Like, add it to our party. That would be cool. Alright, there's her Naga. What's this that's glowing? Is that just a candle? We have a mirror. We've opened this and we read these letters before. This is locked. <gasps> we did have a key. Okay, let's, uh, can we talk to this lady? Can you talk to people? Or are you just bad? Okay. Too heavy. Fur pallet. Can't move that. We've got a pot. Wait, is there a secret passage inside of here somewhere? Let's look at the map. Let's look at the map. Nothing that jumps out. Okay. He said search everywhere. So let's look for hidden buttons. Let's look for, you know, walls that we can walk through. Looking at the map, I don't see anything that's like a hidden wall you can walk through. So I don't see anything like that. There is this Naga who is now just going to be free. Who are, oh. Well, apparently it was killable. Uh, has some arrows and a bow. Um, is this a debris wall that you can... We've seen this before. Don't worry, everybody. I've started to record. So luckily, my neighbor has decided to mow his lawn. As you know, that happens every single time. Okay, so nothing here. What's this? Just a burner. This is just a light. Do we see a switch? Nothing really. Now there's a couple pieces of food here. Um, I just just for now, in case I need it. Let's just go talk to the mage. There's the statue of a demon. Some wine. And there's nothing on this chair. Alright, well, let's go back and talk to... What's his face? Real quick. Um, we'll head back here and see... Let's tell them what we found. Maybe that'll kind of advance the next thing here. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Where'd this guy go? There he is. Hey, bud. Tis thee again. Hast thou good news? Uh, the search. So, thou hast searched Rotoluncia's manor, and there is no sign of thy friend, or of Rotoluncia. How interesting. I have one last hope for thee, but I must first share a secret with thee. Okay, what's the secret? I am reluctant to admit this, but under these circumstances, I think that I must. A year ago, the Red Sorceress and I re renewed that passionate affair which we began in our youth. This has none of mine idea, but I could not resist her advances. She demanded that our lovemaking be done in secret, so I built a secluded love palace. 
Okay. Love making. Aha, but I cannot speak of, of this with thee. It is a private matter. But let me say this. In the years since our youth, the Red Sorceress learned many strange and difficult practices. Why, she even taught me a thing or two. Oh, I don't want to know anymore. Um, Love Palace. Oh, it is a modest place. Not like this great masterpiece. A mere cottage. Perhaps little Luncia hath gone there to hide and taken thy friend as well. If so, then she hath betrayed me. Go quickly. See if she is there. And if so, flush her out. Uh, where is it? It is located in the center of the Lake of Enchantment, south and west of here, we now stand. Thou shalt need a boat to reach this place. Take my yacht, I give thee permission. The royal yacht is moored at the pier, which can only be reached from within my palace. Thou wilt note that my yacht will not move unless the mystic engine is engaged. How do we engage it? Uh, betrayed. Did she make love to me, only thinking to use me? Was her passion false, a mere pretense in order to coerce me into building that hidden citadel? Women are fickle. Never give thine heart to one of their kind, stranger. Better to love them and then leave them. And I am undone. Mine heart grieves. I must go away to be with my thoughts. Gosh. Okay, well, we've been down by that boat before. It was over here, right? Ooh. Let's go. Uh, let's let's oh let's get stuck on the stairs. There we go. Uh, let's save our game. Here we go. I have a bad feeling too. How do we engage the engine? Do we have to get off first and then do it? Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just looking at the map to see where this place is. Okay, we got to go this way. And then we kind of loop around. Straight south. Here's the little island. Aha. We have a dock. How do we... Aha. Aha. How do I get off the boat? Exit? Nope. Nope. There we go. I didn't want to talk to you about idle conversation. I'm hoping to get off the boat. How do I dock the boat? Oh no. Hold on. We have a problem. Oh no. How dock boat? Ultima 7. Part two. Um. Uh, how do I dock? Uh. Uh, double click on the ground, quite possibly. Let's see if that's it. How do I get off? How do I get off the boat? Oh no. Hold on. We'll look in the manual. Uh Nope, nothing there. Uh let's see. Hold on. This is a this is an embarrassment. Good to be back, folks. Um hotkeys Ultima 7. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Toggle, quit, change. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Nope, nope. How do we get off this stupid boat? We finally made it here. How do we get off the boat? Inventory. X for exit. That's the stat screen. 
again. Here's our... Oh, are we... Aha! Uh -huh. We somehow got off the boat. We're good. We have survived yet again. All right, we're assaulting Goblin Town. Oh, good. Lots of food here in case we need it. Ooh. Oh, is that a whip? That's a whip. You had to go there, game, didn't you? Kidney belt. Aha. There is a key. There is a banana. Uh, let's get the key on our key ring here. As we listen to Rule Britannia, the greatest song of love that you'll ever hear. Right down below. Torture him. Bring taunt. No! No, no, no! Do not torture my friend. What are you doing? So, thou hast come to rescue thy friend. Well, thou must kill me first. I have the only key to his cell. Or wilt thou tell me the secret of which I desire? The key to controlling demons. But we know nothing about gargoyles or demons. And thou shalt die, liar! Okay, well, how about you die? With my dying breath, I place the curse of the Red Witch upon thee! Arrgh. We gotta kill these gremlins. Oh no! What's exploding? Kill the last gremlin! Get him! Ooh! Black Pearl. And we'll put this here. We'll grab this and Shimita once we get him back. Uh, in fact, why don't we stack... Ooh, more Black Pearl. That was this one, right? Nope. We'll stack the bodies over here. Or we'll... we'll uh, let's cook up some gremlins. Aw. Aw. Uh, a little more black pearl. What's that? Potatoes? Potatoes? Alright. So she's got some keys and she had a fire wand. Well, that's handy. We'll go ahead and get those on there. What else do we have here? We had the torture devices, we had this, a teleportation circle. What do you mean we don't have the key? But I just grabbed the key. I just used the key. Oh, there it is. Somehow, it didn't believe me. There we go. Okay. And it unlocks that. Alright, first of all, hey buddy. Shimino. I'm ready to provide whatever aid I can, my lord. Join us back. Most gratefully. Goodbye. Um, where's your sword? Ah, there it is. Where's your shield? Okay. I was worried for a minute we lost his weapon. I was going to be upset. Uh, let's go ahead and... Give him this extra bit of food that we found. While he was away from us. Here you go, sir. Huh. So we have a random teleporter here that we can use. But before we do, let's read these books. Observations of Pain by Major Lord Phil Burchio. Have we read this? We have always thought of pain as the unpleasant reaction of a being's nervous system to certain environmental stimuli. But through my recent studies, I believe I have come to understand pain as a state of mind rather than a simple physical reaction. It is very easy to inflict physical pain on someone. A casual look about my laboratory will prove that. Iron maidens, thumbscrews, and rocks are all useful for this purpose. 
Now, what should be done of the person who can literally accept and even ignore physical pain? In this case, a test of one's mental facility shall be necessary. Research thy subject carefully and discover what tears into his soul. Understand his psyche and use what thou dost discover to help augment the physical torture. We will look now at a few examples. Suppose others have, want to cause a harpsichordist pain. Thumbscrews are the obvious choice. Why not add to his experience by playing the blissful tune Sea Shanty? This shall produce some very good results. Similarly, in the subject is a writer strapping him to the rack. A reading from the Dismal Sir Tout's plot guide will have him writhing. Throughout these pages, thou will find even more insidious ways to produce pain. Read them well, and thou wilt never be disappointed with the results. Well, that's disturbing. Poetry from the Romantic Lute by Sir D. Day. Soliloquy. I gave my love a chicken that had no bone. I gave my love a cherry that had no stone. I wrote my love a story that had no end. Classic song. Um, Dear Darling Rodoluncia. Whoops. I have tried to sleep after our dalliance last night, yet I cannot. The feel of thy silken hair and the sweet taste of thy lips linger. Oh, my darling, I cannot wait until I see thee again. I feel that I shall go mad if I cannot make thee mine. Thy lover, Filbertio. Anything in the desk? Not really. Well, I tell you what, we could go back to him, but I feel like I want to know where this teleporter goes. But we're 45 minutes in, folks. Let's save here. This is where we'll wrap up this episode. It's good to be back. It's good to get some recording done, everybody. We'll be coming back and checking this out in the next episode of Gaming with Grug. Until then, I want to say thanks for watching. Please tell your friends. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, we hope to see you soon.